Okay, good morning and welcome back to 30 Days of Yoga. Today is day 12. Um, we are inside today because my neighbor, we have one of those now, and is working with some power tools. So I figured we'd come inside instead of our beautiful outside. That's okay. Um, we're going to be working on a little bit smaller movements for the next couple of days because I went and sprained my ankle at soccer the other day. So I'm hobbling around in certain movements and weight is not easy for me. And I was super bummed about it in the beginning or like when it happened on Sunday. And then I messaged one of my girlfriends that I met in Bali who is a yoga instructor as well. And she was so sweet. She said, remember, yoga is not just movement and asanas. It's also breath work and meditation and those gentler movements, which was a really good reminder. And I think maybe we will have two or three days now of gentler movements and breathing and meditation. So today our goal is to do belly breaths. So we've done international breathing before and I talked about belly breaths in that one, how we would do it at a later time. This is that time. So we are going to practice breathing with our belly and we're going to practice it in three different ways. And some people it comes easy, some people it's a little bit harder. So this is just to see where you're at. Okay, let's get on the mat. Okay, so first we're gonna start by laying down and then we're gonna sit and then we're gonna stand and see how it may differ. So let's go ahead coming all the way down on our back and allowing our feet to fall forward and our toes to spread out. And already just start to notice your breath. And then we're going to take one hand and put it on the stomach. And then we're going to take the other hand and put it on the chest. Now our goal here is when you take each inhale to imagine the breath moving through your nose, down your windpipe, through your chest, and filling up your stomach. And then exhale the same way. Now laying on the back here, it's usually easier to get that stomach to rise and fall, but don't force it. Don't make your core do the work. Let the breath do it. And notice if that hand on the stomach goes up. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see the hand on the chest rise and fall. We want the hand on the stomach to rise and fall. So let's go ahead and take five deep, slow belly breaths in and out through our nose. On your own time. And just release the space between your eyebrows. Two more. And one more. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and slowly open the eyes. Maybe already you feel a little difference. I know I do. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing in the sitting position. So crisscross your legs here. Obviously, I can't do that yet. And then we're going to do the same thing. So hand on the chest and hand on the stomach. And now this gets a little bit harder as we go up. It gets a little bit more difficult. So just close your eyes. And again, with every inhale, I'm try to feel your stomach pushing against your hand. And maybe notice if, when you're sitting, if your hand on your chest is the one rising. Not trying to make them do anything different, just noticing what comes natural. Let's do 
five big inhales on your own time. So again, hand on the chest, hand on the stomach, and this is the hardest one to do. So just close your eyes, make sure you feel grounded, you're not gonna tip over. And then try to fill your tummy with air, and exhale, letting your stomach fall. And maybe it doesn't move as much, maybe it's just a very little movement. Perfect, let's do five more. Nice and slow. Mm, maybe you notice your chest rising a little bit. Two more. And one more. Beautiful, slowly releasing your hands down, opening your eyes. And let's just take a big inhale, take your arms all the way up. Interlace your fingers, try to reach towards the ceiling. And exhale, spread your fingers all the way down. Okay, that's it for today. Okay, so that's it for day number 12. Um, great benefits of belly breathing are uh, digestion, uh, calming anxiety. So when you belly breathe, you're stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, whereas the sympathetic nervous system is <sighs> stressed out in traffic and just, yeah, stressed. And so parasympathetic, or it's the fight or flight is the sympathetic. So parasympathetic is the rest and digest, and um, it helps with blood pressure. It helps with um, digestion, like I said, anxiety. There's just a slew of things. So if you can practice this enough to where you're in the car and you can just practice taking those big, deep stomach inhales, that is our goal here. So... Um, try this one out even when we're not on the 30 days of yoga, just without your throughout your daily life. And what else did I want to say? Mark has, Dr. Mark, has made a whole video on this and from the physical therapist perspective. So I'll link it in the description below. And thank you guys for being patient with me with my sprained ankle. I will try... I mean, I've been resting, icing, ibuprofen, elevation, all the kind of stuff. So I'm really trying to get it better. And hopefully in the next two or three classes, three or four classes, I'll be able to get back to the normal slew of things. Um, tomorrow, we are going to be working with upper body stuff. So bring a strap because we're going to have really fun with some arm movements there. So I will see you tomorrow for day number 13. Okay, bye guys.